inside four showers two washing machines racks for scenes and weapons and this is only a part of six meter complex which is already going to donbass today Mobile bathhouse is a four-tone complex equipped on the basis of a ready-to-use sea container hull. The laundry on wheels is equipped with household appliances for washing and drying clothes, while the bathhouse is equipped with 200-liter water heating boiler. Three kilograms of wood and you can take a shower for 40 minutes. Two reservoirs, 1,000 liters each. A total of 2,000 autonomous water supply. But before the water gets here, it passes through a filtration system and from here it goes to the washing machines. As you can see here, filters for water softening. Is there a filter there? So even river water could be used here as well? From any source. It could be from a swamp, from a water pipeline or from a well. Water heating in the complex is a continuous process, says the technical project manager. There is no need to add wood again while waiting for the hot water. An unlimited number of people will be able to take a shower. Wood has a high heat capacity when it burns and while the hot water is drained, cold water comes in automatically. It's an automatic cycle. And while some people are wiping themselves, others are undressing and getting ready and the water is already hot. The complex can be used at any time of the year. In winter, thanks to the heat capacity of the boiler, the air temperature inside will be kept within 20 degrees Celsius. And such comfort, defenders say, will keep away from cold disease in winter. When the temperature is low, even zero, you can get sick after bathing outside. In addition, there is drying there. Just an hour and everything is ready. The serviceman will be very happy. The mobile bathing and laundry complex is a real savior for assault troops and infantry. It will allow soldiers who are tired from combat operations to save time for additional rest. It often happens that people watch themselves from battles. Well, we are talking about conditions near the front line. Or use wet wipes. Or sometimes there is not even a possibility like that at all. And here we have not only cold water, which is already a luxury, but also hot water. It's almost like being at home. It is not the first time that the Charitable Foundation for Assistance to the Army has provided combat brigades with such complexes. Two of them have already traveled to Donbass, to a place where they are so necessary. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Alena Hramova, UATV News.